Hi, this is Milad Rasaymanesh. Hello everyone, my name is Nastana Gudarzi. And this is the first episode of the Ex-Muslim TV. Stay with us. Right then, um, as you most probably know, February the 1st is known and it's named as the World Hijab Day. On this specific day, um, it's asked um, and it's like kind of became the tradition, I would say, from 2013, asking the mostly um, non-Muslim European and the women who lives in North America to try the hijab things and share, yeah, and share the experiences and they kind of try to normalize hijab in the society, in the Western yeah. Uh, society basically so mm, we're here today to talk about it and say like why hijab is bad and why we have to like stop the normalization yeah. of hijab so what do you think why hijab is bad uh, you know the philosophy behind hijab is that women cause men to sin uh, and they have to protect their hair and their body uh, from men's attention uh, hijab is sexism uh, hijab uh, separates women from normal uh, and uh, free world and uh, limits them uh, to do normal activities and uh, based on this philosophy uh, women are considered as sexual slaves that's true actually uh, if you uh, and if you just like go hysterically see what happened the whole in during the whole human history you will see like uh, male and men always trying to control women uh, women behavior as women's body and religion actually all religions um, they were it was they were kind of like a, a help to the man to do that in a better situation basically when we had the religion all religion Judaism Christianity Islam the um, the, the the sexist, sexist kind of uh, behaviors that we had in the like a human society became the order of God and the, so, so, so it, it was like it was up to everyone to follow the things. Uh, Islam and hijab is like a like Islamic version of yeah. those like a male dominate kind of society that we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. And the hijab is a sign and symbol of political Islam. Whenever political Islam is on power, uh, you can see hijab is a sign of it. Uh, and the hijab is not just a piece of clothes. It, uh, it deprives women from their rights all in all areas. Uh, as all of us know, uh, there are millions of women are under oppression of uh, political Islam in Iran, in Saudi Arabia, in Islam Sudan, stricken in countries. Yeah, that's true. And that, that's the things like that's precisely true because uh, we, we cannot we cannot actually open the hijab as a discord of like way of clothing as a personal choice it's kind of political issues yeah. and <clears throat> it, that's exactly that we have like a, these sort of days in 2019 and we still have to talk about because there are a specific political movement support and protect and try to advertise and normalize it mm -hmm. in society the more women wear hijab uh, in Islam stricken countries like in Middle East as you mentioned and in Europe and North America the more uh, powerful the Islamic uh, the Islamic movement become so um, you have to see the relationship basically between these things um, it's not like just something that comes from nowhere it's uh, it's a it's a movement it's a political movement we have so many imams mosques um, like events like this like world hijab day trying to normalize the Islamic rules specifically hijab yeah it? and by celebrating uh, World Hijab Day, uh, women who fight against hijab in uh, these countries, uh, as I mentioned before, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Sudan, Afghanistan, they are ignored. And uh, there are some brands that uh, try to normalize, romanticize, fetishize hijab, and uh, they try to really uh, perpetuate the um, ideology of uh, 
political Islam. Yeah, and we remember what Orleans did, like like a couple of years ago here in Stockholm in Sweden. They tried, they they used like a hijabis models, and like recently Marx and Spencer, they have like a hijab for kids, hijab for toddlers. I would say, mm. um, they're trying to sell hijab for the like a Muslim family who are trying to force their kids to wear hijab. Um, it's a shame actually. It's 2019, yeah. and we still have to like you know try to um, talk about uh, such a obvious sexist kind of things. Hijab is not a, like a sisterhood or, or not like a solidarity with the women's movement. I've heard like from these like mostly, unfortunately I have to say like a left activists, they said like hijab is a sisterhood. Hijab, uh, the more like you respect hijab, the more that you call, uh, respect the uh, like a refugee's culture, hmm. this sort of multiculturalist, yeah, kind of ideologies or like a post-modernist kind of belief which is highly wrong. Um, I believe if we want to like now protect the refugees' right, if we want to go for the integration, uh, move, uh, integration process more successfully, we have to overcome the religious sexism sign, yeah. uh, including hijab. Mm, what these like companies, Orleans, Marks and Spencers, um, some other sporties, um, they're trying to have like burkinis, these sort of things. This is against humanity, actually, and we have yeah. to like, if we fight for like a society based on humanity and equality, we have to fight against them all, yeah? Yeah, exactly. And as you mentioned before, uh, hijab for children, uh, uh, when uh, some uh, people try to wear hijab on children, uh, it is child abuse. And it uh, is indeed, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, children are uh, sometimes are uh, under physical and psychological punishment and sanctions from their families and by normalize it in Western societies in European countries uh, their situation is become uh, worse and yeah you're, you're actually de denying the children's right it's a kind of irony because there are so many activists specifically left activists they're fighting for the children's right but they're perfectly fine with the hijab thing they don't realize how bad hijab is and how you deny a child's right by forcing her to wear hijab it's really funny the the the, the, the justification behind it is like a small girls are supposed to like uh, supposed to like uh, have hijab because the like a mature guys cannot control their sexual desires, mm. um, which is kind of, it's a shame. shame it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's really concerning these yeah. days. Yeah. Um, I believe um, if it's about time that everyone realized how bad sexism is and how hijab and these sort of like Islamic uh, signs um, highlight it and like empower the sexism. So everyone should be like, you know, be aware of that at the first point and then rise and fight against it. Yeah. We have to do something, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, in our organization, we have seminars on 1st of February uh, that um, uh, we talk about uh, this World Job Day and uh, with uh, well-known activists uh, join us and uh, yeah, so well, there are like so many organizations that they are on, they have like, they're using like a couple of hashtags. They have like um, Instagram pages, Facebook pages. If people really want to do something, change the society, if the majority of people would like to um, be part of this fight, they can just like be online, um, share these things, um, be active on Facebook, like the posts and support them. This is like a, the, the least someone can do. Or if they're really interested, then there are so many other things, obviously, they can do that. But like at the very first point, if you want to fight something, if you want to do something, basically, you can just do the whole thing online or, as you said, attend the seminars Seminar. and the meetings that we run for these sort of things. Yeah. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Hamed Jamali. I decided to uh, take a look at social media and uh, share with you um, what's going on 
uh, as the discussion is getting heated up uh, about this hijab day. Uh, the, the, those people who promote uh, hijab day uh, for the 1st of February, uh, they are using hashtags of uh, uh, World Hijab Day and also uh, Free in Hijab uh, to promote uh, their idea uh, of, uh, of hijab and uh, their basic um, uh, message is for uh, women all around the world uh, especially uh, Europe uh, and America uh, to try hijab for one day and uh, in an attempt to uh, normalize hijab uh, for, for women and uh, uh, introduce hijab as a way of uh, culture and dressing for women. Uh, I see uh, this, this uh, discussion and uh, discourse is very hot right now in social media, especially in Twitter and uh, Instagram. Uh, I see lots of uh, pictures of uh, women uh, they seem to be uh, Muslim and probably from Arab countries uh, they are uh, posting pictures of, the, of themselves and uh, they are basically uh, have very clear messages they say that uh, uh, for example uh, this hijab that they are wearing uh, is uh, not their choice and if they remove the hijab they will get killed uh, plain and simple uh, you can find tens of such messages such uh, pictures in social media uh, on the other hand uh, some people are trying to support this movement uh, this hijab day and uh, they are uh, posting uh, tweets uh, regarding uh, me containing messages uh, about about hijab. Uh, for example, uh, I see a tweet from uh, an account, uh, Meme Abdullah. Uh, she says. Uh, uh, you are beautiful and hijab makes you more beautiful. I feel the real meaning of beauty. Hijab means everything to me. Well, uh, I believe that uh, uh, such message to promote hijab is really shallow. Uh, people, uh, especially women, are getting killed around the world for removing their hijab, for example, uh, in Iran, in Saudi Arabia. Uh, hijab is not a matter of beauty or appearance. Uh, it's, uh, this is oversimplifying this uh, issue uh, to introduce hijab as a way of fashion or something that you wear and you feel beautiful. Uh, another, uh, another person, uh, Shakira probably from Bangladesh, she writes, uh, I wear hijab for Allah only. I've learned about my identity after wearing hijab. This isn't just a piece of cloth for me. It's a part of me now. It, it taught me the real meaning of empowerment. My hijab is the most empowering garment. Uh, well, I believe uh, when, when, I, when I hear this, and I hear this very often in social media, that uh, wearing hijab uh, empowers women. Uh, there's something uh, very fundamental uh, about this uh, kind of messages that is wrong. I believe uh, when you say that I wear in a certain way and I feel powerful uh, by my dress, uh, I see a dysfunctional society. I see a problem in the society that uh, leads women and forces women into a certain choice. Uh, then it's not a choice. Uh, then you are forced to wear something. Uh, women's value, identity and power 
shouldn't depend on what they wear. They should be valuable, they should be powerful regardless of whatever they choose to wear. I, I see another message in, uh, in Twitter. Well, it seems that uh, it's kind of uh, an official uh, Twitter account for uh, promoting World Hijab Day. Uh, in, this, in this tweet, it says that uh, it's time for you to flood your social media with this hashtag and educate those who label hijab as a symbol of oppression. It's time for all of us to voice our choice of hijab. Well, uh, I gotta say that uh, hijab is not women's choice. Uh, hijab, hijab is actually men's choice or God's choice or religion's choice for women. Uh, actually, uh, the, 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 it's a common belief in many religions that uh, men are uh, too uh, sexually charged and uh, they can't control uh, their, their sexual desire. That's why uh, women have to uh, cover themselves. They, 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 have to, uh, they, have to, they have to keep themselves uh, in, in hiding uh, because if, if something happens like, uh, like a rape or adultery, uh, then women are responsible for it. So I believe that uh, hijab is dis disrespectful for women and for them and for men. Anyway, uh, I invite all of you uh, who are against hijab, I invite all of you to uh, contribute to this debate on social media. Uh, I invite you to uh, come to Twitter and Instagram especially and uh, speak your mind. Uh, tell us why you think hijab is wrong for people and uh, try and try try and stop uh, this kind of uh, propaganda for hijab. I was uh, I was I was also uh, checking the the previous year reactions from previous year and I uh, saw that uh, women from Western countries uh, when they tried hijab for one day on 1st of February they expressed that uh, it's kind of a nice dress and they feel warm and uh, secure inside this dress uh, I, I believe that uh, this uh, this is because uh, the, the, the founders of this uh, day and this movement uh, have been uh, smart or they thought that they are very smart. So they put this uh, hijab day as in the 1st of February, uh, which, is, uh, which is one of the coldest days of the year. Uh, that's why uh, that's why I think that uh, women in Western countries never felt the, the, the difficulty of wearing hijab for one day. If, 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 they, if, they, if they have chosen a, a hot day in summer, they could have never agreed with this uh, even for one day uh, to, 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 be have, to be forced to wear such clothes. So, uh, see you on social media.